Hey guys, what's up? Um, so, this is, uh, just a little additional video, uh, about the Diagostini Godzilla kit. Um, one thing I wanted to sort of address, one thing about this kit that bothers me, uh, nothing to do with the actual kit itself, but with the accessories that are available for it. So, um, as you can see... They have all of these extras, which I've shown in previous videos, such as the, um, the plane and these, uh, tanks and whatnot. Now, these are not cheap. This plane alone is 2,000 yen. That is 20 US dollars, roughly. Look at how shitty that is. I mean, it's, it's nowhere near the quality of the model in the movie. It's... It doesn't look real, it's garbage. So, you know, why spend $2,000 building this RC figure just to have shitty, cheap-looking accessories like this? So, uh, I was looking for a solution, and I decided just to build replicas myself using available models. Um, the problem is, they won't be the same scale because the Godzilla figure is a 187 and most of the models are 172 or larger. So, um, it's... They won't be exactly perfect, but you know what? I think, based on what you see in the movies, they're not exactly size correct either. So, it'll be okay, I think. Um, so, this plane which is featured prominently in the movie, is a saber. So that's the Diagostini's version of it, but I went online and found this, which we're going to make look like the one in the film. So this is a model of a saber, a different version. So we're going to have to remove some parts, we're going to have to change some decals, but otherwise it's pretty, pretty good. It looks a damn sight closer than this thing uh, that they're selling. And, you know, to scale up, it's not it's not so off, you know? Uh, the thing that really sticks in my craw about this is the fact that this model, this nicer model, was fucking made by Diagostini themselves. So, I mean, compare the two. I mean, same company. Insane, just insane. Uh, the other model, which isn't even offered by Diagostini, but, uh, you know, plain featured in the movie, is, of course, the Zero. Uh, yeah, the, um, upsell sort of accessories are really, really abysmal. And if you were to do the math, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So each one of these is $35. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times $35 plus 20. That's like 200 plus dollars for this. Uh, outrageous. So... Let's see if we can't make something out of these that is a little bit closer to what's represented in the film. All right, let's take a look.
Alright guys, so here we have some completed models. I think they're much better than what's available with the kit. But what about you? Please leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think. Alright, bye.